What's up everyone? Welcome to the first video of 2019. First of all, just wanna say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers who have joined the channel recently. Um, the reaction video I made kind of snowballed and just went crazy with views. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So uh, welcome to the channel. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the sort of content I make, which includes like vlogs and drum covers. And more importantly, things like today, which is a drum tutorial slash hack thing that you can use uh, to try and save yourself some money. So let's get into it. Now, when it comes to drum gear, I am a bit of a hoarder and I never throw out my old drum heads. And the reason for that is because they can be used uh, for other things. So one of the things I'm going to show you today is how you can make your own uh, drum dampeners using your old head. So obviously you've got things on the market already like moon gel, uh, snare weight, uh, studio rings. Um, I've showed you how to make your own moon gels, but this is just another little hack you can do to, uh, to get that nice little dampen sound you might want in the studio or when you're rehearsing in a quiet space. Let's do this. This is how easy this method is. So you just get your old head, flip it upside down and draw a circle around the outside to make it easier to cut. Once you've drawn the circle, follow that line to cut it out. Once you've done that, get a smaller drum head and use that as a template to draw another circle. Then simply cut around this circle. When you've done that, you'll be left with these two circles here. So you've got the larger circle and the smaller one. So this was a 14 inch head originally. So this can now be used as a snare dampener. And this 10 inch circle can be used to really dampen a tom, maybe for a rehearsal or a practice kit at home. Do experiment with trying to cut different sized inner circles, so thicker and thinner ones, and you'll get different levels of dampening. But for now, let's try these two out on the kit and see how they sound. So just for reference, here's the snare without any dampening. Here's the snare with the studio ring we just made. So as you can see, a lot of that overtone and ring is just completely gone. But if you want something even more dead and really fat, you could just cut this a bit thicker. Now we're going to test the tom dampener that we were left with as an off cut from when we made our snare dampener. Now it's worth noting here that uh, when you cut out yours make sure to cut about a centimetre inside of the line because I've had to go back and re-trim mine because it was actually a little bit bigger than the head because I wasn't accounting for the fact that I was drawing around the outside of it not the inside. So once it's trimmed down it should fit. Let's hear how it sounds with and without. So as you can hear, it's super dead. This may be useful if you're using it um, on a practice kit at home where you've got to be really quiet. And you never know, you may end up wanting a sound like that in the studio. Probably not, but you know, at least you've got a nice little practice kit dampener uh, and a cheaper alternative as well. So there we go. Hope you found that super useful. Um, I'd love to see how yours turn out. So if you've made your own or if you followed along with this, you can show me on Instagram and Twitter. Links will be in the description for you. And that way I can respond to you and we can start a little conversation. And some of you guys might be able to inspire me with some new ideas for how to use uh, old drum heads for hacks which could lead to some future videos, that would be awesome. So uh, I do try and drop a video every week, so make sure to subscribe if you're new and hit the bell, because all that stuff really matters and it really helps. Like the video if you've enjoyed this, and uh, you know, if you leave a comment, I will reply. I'll try and get around to absolutely everyone, which has proven to be a bit of a mish since the, um, since the reaction video went a little bit viral, but yeah, awesome. In the meantime, check out a new video up here, and I'll see you next time. But as per usual, whatever you're doing today, Go out and smash it.